This is Vanessa Nelson, EFT practitioner and goal coach. And I'm going to talk today about how all of our negative emotions are actually an attempt to save our lives. Um, when our um, when our limbic system, the part of our brain that processes memory and um, also decides whether or not we should panic whenever processing certain thoughts, um, when it perceives something that we've previously identified as a threat or a risk to our own survival, it releases certain hormones into our system. We get cortisol, we get adrenaline, and um, we have a response to that, which is designed to help us um, choose whether we need to go into fight or flight. And a lot of times we don't make that choice mindfully. Um, we are somewhat wired um, to go one way or the other and we can change that wiring but a lot of times those reactions happen pre-thought so um and it's designed that way because of the fact that number one that's a part of our brain that developed before our ability to reason it's our animal part it is um a part of us that was designed to save us in situations of dire life-threatening moments um of of basically life-threatening threats. <laughs> and so it is designed to make us act before we even have a chance to think. So whenever we see something that disturbs us, we get um, a negative or we get a rush of, of emo uh, adrenaline and cortisol and all of these chemicals go into our system. We identify that as um when we go into our thought process, we recognize those as negative emotions. We recognize them as fear, as anger, or um, we might recognize it as a sense of paralysis. Um, there's various feelings that we can get in response to this mix of chemicals, but it's because our brain, before it actually had a chance to think about it, decided this is a threat to us. Now, some of the things that you get upset about, you may not you may look at it and say, well, why would this be perceived as a threat? And interestingly enough, um, I mean, of course, you know, when we, okay, if we have a phobic response to spiders, we know that on a certain level, we're afraid of them because they might bite us and we might die of the spider bite, which is really, really rare in North America, especially. But um, if we have a fear of dogs, again, we might fear that we're going to be uh, attacked by a dog. And so it's a... Um, it is a survival mechanism kicking in. Um, and sometimes though, these don't make sense to us. So if you see a picture of a dog and you start to get a panic response, you know that that's out of line, that you're not actually going to get attacked by a photograph of a dog or um, a spider or whatever it else, whatever else it may be. Or even sometimes if you're watching it in a movie. Um, and of course we've got you know, I'm not talking about sympathetic response where you're watching like a scary movie and you see something scary happening to someone on the film and you have a sympathetic response of fear. Um, that's not what I'm referring to. I'm talking about when you actually have a sense that you are being threatened. Um, or sometimes we get angry with people in our lives and we don't realize that it is because of a survival instinct. Um, one of the things that we most um, are driven by is the need to belong to our community, our family. Um, we were in the very beginning, from the very beginning, tribal creatures. We depended on our tribe for survival. So a lot of times things like speaking in front of a crowd or um, having to enter into confrontation or rejection or um, there's various things that are social moments that we are afraid of or that we get upset by we get angered by we call it triggered frequently in um, energy practices but those things usually we've got some part of us that is concerned that our tribe will not accept us anymore if we mess up in that environment and so we get angry we get scared we get shy we get anxiety um we get all these negative emotions because that need to belong to the tribe used to be such a survival necessity for us. And even now, to a certain extent, being able to be around people is a survival necessity or to be able to interact with people. 
um, there is a significant difference in the mental health of people who have a healthy social circle and those who are isolated for one reason or another. So that can be a survival thing. And um, so a lot of the things that you think you're very silly for being upset about, they actually have a very good reason underneath. But if you can identify that and recognize that that's not actually currently threatening you, um, then you can go ahead and move through to where you don't have to be bothered by those things anymore. And EFT, emotional freedom technique, is a really great technique for helping you work through those things.